today we are trying out coffee creamers like these. Finally, I think we're doing a taste test in the morning time, in the morning day. And finally, I think one that uh, she's not gonna hate. Here's hoping. Here's the plan. We have the three different coffee creamers to try out. We have both of the super creamers that I found in the grocery store. I have vanilla, sweet cream, and we have one of the Starbucks because the other one was uh, Dirty Feet flavored and I don't like that one. Hazelnut does not taste like Dirty Feet. Yes, it does. This is Caramel Macchiato. I did not buy the Dirty Feet flavor and if you like <laughs> Dirty Feet, that's on you, but I'm not. Mm, dirty Feet, nasty. All right, so let's go ahead and knock out the Starbucks first okay. because this one, okay, so this one is non-fat milk, heavy cream, vegetable oil. Starbucks, if you're listening, don't use vegetable oil. Find something else. Uh, high oleic, soybean oil, and then there's buttermilk, salt, natural flavor, sucralose, and gallon gum. It's not vegan, so there's buttermilk in here, so you can use animal fats. Please do that. Yes. All right, and the serving size on this one is only one tablespoon one tablespoon so what we're going to do is try it first with the recommended serving size and then we're going to tell you and show you how much we actually need to add to make it work okay so we have three coffee mugs each with two two ounce shots of espresso i figure that's going to give us a baseline because that's what we drink in this house, espresso. Yes. Because it's delicious. And I typically do four shots of espresso every morning. That now, makes my life, that makes your life better. Yeah. Let's be honest. It's true, it's true. My life is better because she has espresso. Now we use Nespresso pods, but the generic ones from- Amazon. Yes. I will link those down below in case you're curious. All right, so this is a two tablespoon measuring spoon, but we're, we're gonna, gonna do about half. I'm just gonna eyeball it because let's let's be real. Most of you are not gonna be measuring this out. You're gonna be dumping it in until it's the color you like, which is how I typically drink my coffee. I put mine in until the cup is full. All right, so is there what? a thing? <laughs> you know what? There's an inner seal. There is it. Why does it have a pop cap where it's like? Oh, it's so dumb. Just in case they don't want someone to come along and spit in all their creamers before you get a chance to use well, them. Well, they put soybean oil in it already, so I mean, they've you already... You can pour it with that, without that pop top on. I'm just going to shake it up now. Let's see how caramel macchiato-y this tastes. It's about, uh, that's, that's about half. That's okay. close enough. Give it, a, give it a stir. See what color it makes it. Doesn't change the color at all. Uh. Okay. We're gonna use this little thing here. Okay. We probably could have planned this out better. Maybe. I'm we probably could have had a spoon insane. or something. You'd think we'd do this on a normal basis. Yeah, that did nothing for this coffee. Okay, so let's- Absolute nothing. That's drinking black coffee. All right, so we'll do, what, two more tablespoons? Just put it in until it is a lovely shade of latte. Good. All right, so that's about that's four, probably four tablespoons. Four or five tablespoons more. And looky Lou, I have a spoon. Oh, that looks prettier even. There you go. It's better. It kind of waters it down though. Um, Isn't the first ingredient in this? No, it's non-fat milk is the first ingredient. I think I get that, you know? It definitely has a caramely flavor. Um, I would drink it if I had to, but I wouldn't pick it. This is not cheap either. Right. It's the it, same price as the non-zero whatever version. It's the right. same price. So when I add cream to my coffee, we use heavy cream. And I definitely like it a lighter tint. It's so sweet. Yeah, it is very sweet. But it's watery flavored. It is, the yeah. The cream that I use, the heavy cream that we use, is just the generic Walmart brand. It does have carrageen in it. Uh, car carrageen I haven't found any that doesn't have it. 
Anywho, so it, it makes it thicker, but it doesn't water down the flavor. You still get full coffee flavor. This waters down your coffee flavor and adds an, um, quite a bit of sweet flavor. So, I mean, it's okay. It's very boring. It's very sweet. There's no real flavor. Like, okay, so for reference, I can't honestly remember the last time I had a sweet coffee. It was probably back in like 2015 mm. when we were drinking the caramel macchiatos from Duncan. Yeah. Those gigantic 30 whatever ounce that were like 400 grams of sugar. That were like four bucks. Oh, they were <laughs> so good. Instead of the Starbucks, like $20 Oh, they you were so that. good. Basically, just like ice cream water is what we were drinking. Right. And this is sweet. I get a little bit of caramel out of it, but it's if it's watery. It waters down the taste of your coffee. My coffee doesn't taste like coffee now. Yeah. It's and just I sweet like and 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 but it's I like the taste of coffee. I do so too. So I don't I wouldn't choose this. Right. Now that it's here in my house, I will probably send it home with the kids. Okay, next. All right. We'll do the dancing frog. So you want to do sweet cream or do you want to do the vanilla? Let's do the sweet cream and try to get the two sweet flavors out of the... And the thing is, is I do drink sweet coffee. I add um, the Skinny Syrups uh, mint chocolate to my coffee on my days off. And again, we'll put everything up on the screen so you can see it at your leisure. Now this one is cleaner. Purified water is the first ingredient. Then we have cream, milk protein isolate, MCT oil, monk fruit, natural flavors, potassium phosphate, and gallon gum. Now the serving size of this one for zero carbs, that one is one tablespoon for one carb. This one is three tablespoons for zero carbs. So this is almost like a bulletproof coffee. And it, you know, it's got the MCT oil in it, the monk mm -hmm. fruit. So if you're doing in, if you're doing the bulletproof coffee, this might be an option. This would be an option definitely for you. So let's go ahead and try. Let's do. There's one. It looks thicker. It does look with thicker. The so does it change the color of the coffee? It does. Oh, that's good. Like a normal person coffee. I'm gonna try that. Cause I'm not a sweet coffee person. So I mean, this is probably one of those where I'm not gonna be happy about it, and she's gonna be okay with it. Try it. So, I still get the flavor of the coffee. It's a little bit watered down, not terrible. Um, but it doesn't have a taste, but it has a sweet. Well, I mean, it literally is sweet cream. Right, but it doesn't have a, a flavor. It's just sweet. So it's if you're the type of person who just used to like to add sugar and cream to your coffee and not actually change the flavor of the coffee, this is the one for you. Um, it does water it down a little bit, but not significantly to where it's undrinkable, where you can't taste your coffee. Just pour just a little bit more in there to see. That lightens it up about what you like. Yeah. I probably wouldn't drink that. I don't mind it, but I wouldn't choose it. We'll use it because it's here in the house, but I wouldn't pick it. Yeah, again, I think I have a total disconnect. So when I was purchasing these, I was like, oh, these might be good. Forgetting the fact that I don't drink sweet coffee. I haven't mm -hmm. drank sweet coffee in a long time. And I do, so I don't mind the sweet, but I am very accustomed to the thickness that regular heavy cream adds to your milk. That watering it down for me is uh, very off-putting. And you know, coffee drinkers are weird people. We time. all prefer specific no, 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 things. No, 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 I mean clean this one off. Oh. We all prefer certain things. If you're finding value in this video, please take a moment and check out my merch store in the link below. It supports the channel. We've got hoodies, we've got shirts, we have grocery bags, we have aprons, we have all that stuff. So if you want it, we've got it. Take a look, link in the description. Thanks so much, everybody. When I first started drinking coffee, it's story time. It's fine, right? <laughs> Uh, when I first started drinking coffee, I, like everybody else, would drink what could be basically summarized as kitty coffee. Yeah. Six, eight packets of sugar, a couple of creams. And then over time, 
you know, the amount of sugar dwindles, the amount of cream may stay the same. And back in 2010, I stopped smoking. I had smoked for 15 years, maybe 15, 20 years, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I quit smoking and I picked up a new habit. Since I didn't go outside anymore to smoke, I would go out with people to go get coffee because where I worked about a block around the corner in one of the buildings, there was a coffee shop. So we would go get coffee every morning and we would use half and half and I would put that uh, sugar in the raw in my coffee. It was obviously years and years pre-keto, right? Um, then over time, it just became to you know less sugar, no sugar than just cream. And then for a long time, I drank just black coffee. And it really wasn't until we went keto that I discovered the Bulletproof coffee or basically my ridiculously fat coffee. So <laughs> really for about two years, what I would do is I would drink a 30 ounce steel like Yeti style cup with 165 grams of fat divided between butter and coconut oil. I don't know how you could do that because I can't. I've tried the Bulletproof coffees and that texture it leaves in your mouth. Oh, it was, I don't know. I mean, oh, it's horrible. I think that that was one of the saving graces for me that helped me stay true to the diet or stay true to the lifestyle and get acclimated. And I'm talking half a stick of butter, salted butter, mind you, not even unsalted. I just went full on. And then I would put, I don't know, six tablespoons of, of, uh, of coconut oil in that coffee, blend it up. I mean, we went through, I don't know how many uh, mm. immersion blenders. A lot. A lot of immersion blenders. The first few that we bought were plastic don't do that. They just start cracking right up the middle because of the, the heat of the coffee. That is how I was drinking my coffee for about two years. Mm -hmm. It was like 1,100 calories in my coffee. Now, I'm not a huge person that looks at calories, but 1,100 calories in my coffee every morning for about two years. Then... But in that time frame, you lost 140 pounds, so... Yeah, I lost <laughs> a lot of weight, and you know, in that time frame, and then, uh, I'm not sure why, it dwind you know, it kind of dwindled off the, you know, the, uh, the Bulletproof coffee dwindled off. And then I basically just started drinking coffee with uh, just heavy cream in it. On her day off mornings or the mornings that she's not working, she'll put in like a skinny syrup in hers. It's her treat, if you will. And I, like I said, that's why these are so weird to me with sweet I'm hoping maybe the vanilla might be good. No, we just did that one. I need the vanilla. So the yeah. vanilla one, we'll try it. Thank you for taking that journey with us through story time. You know what? I like stories. I figure... And see, I've always enjoyed coffee, but I've not ever really been a super sugar person. So um, <laughs> I say that what I mean is sugar in my coffee. I am obviously fat for a reason, and I totally totally have a thing for sweets however in my coffee I've, I've always been an aspartame girl i know it's weird i can't help it i like the pink packets i mean granted i still like diet soda just last night i had one of those new coke zero starlights tastes like space Oof, gross all right you go first uh, we still have to drink all this coffee i have to drink all this well, no, we don't really have to, but. I don't really get vanilla. I still get sweet, but not as sweet as the sweet cream. It's like a little bitterness in the sweet too. Yeah, I, I'm not getting vanilla from it. Um, again, these would be fine if you're the type of person who likes your coffee flavored watered down. I really prefer heavy cream and it, you know, you know how coffee people are. If they get to one style, that's sort of what they're going to stick with. So it might take our review with a grain of salt here on this one. Yeah. I, like I said, neither one of us really drink our coffee on a normal basis. Sweet. I just really wanted to try these. Um, I saw that, again, these were popping up on Instagram and everybody was trying them. I figured, you know, let's give it a shot. It was uh, not good. Yeah, no, it was not good. <laughs> These, the super creamers are better. 
But again... They do water down the flavor of your coffee. So it kind of depends on... If you like old school coffee that's, you know, heavily creamed, really watered down, but has a sweetness to it, this might be for you. I wonder... I need to look and see. Now, they didn't carry it at the store that I bought these from. I got them all at Meijer. Mm -hmm. They were all kind of right in the same area. If they maybe made a non-sweet version... Yeah, I don't know. The vanilla one, I got no vanilla. But they both have sweet. The vanilla is less sweet. They are, they're tolerable. If I was a teenager doing this, I would totally jump on board with both of those because it, that's how I used to drink my coffee. Very watered down, very sweet. Didn't necessarily have to have flavor. If I could get the normal creamer that we use, the heavy whipping cream, with a little bit of MCT added to that, I don't want to buy MCT oil. It's like $20 a bottle. I don't really want that much. If there was like a heavy cream with a little bit of MCT oil, no sweeteners, pre-made, and it was a reasonable price, mm -hmm. maybe a dollar more per container, maybe, yeah. then it would be something that I would be into trying and maybe even utilizing on a normal basis. But at this point, I think for me and my money, the best bang for your buck is going to be just straight heavy whipping cream, Walmart. Because I think even looking at the the organic ones, they've all got the they, they all caribenin. have a, a thickener in them. Yeah, and the thickener is what's adding you know crap to your coffee. So either learn to drink it black or just add heavy cream and be conscious of what you're adding and how much. Sahil over at uh, Headbangers Kitchen. Mm -hmm. When he adds heavy cream to something, it's almost like the consistency of sour cream. Hmm. It's like super thick. It's like, it's not clumpy, but mm -hmm. it's just very, I guess like clotted cream, if you will. Okay. That's probably just a difference of region and where yeah, he yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it is. Yeah. yeah. I would like to try that. I bet that. I bet that's probably extra milk fat, probably delicious. Clotted cream is very good but i don't know that we even have access yeah, i don't know where not. we would find that even i don't even know that whole foods would have that i don't know i wonder if i wonder if like uh dairy farmers because basically heavy whipping cream is just like the milk fat off the top of the coffee or off coffee off the top of the <laughs> milk isn't it yeah i think so i'm gonna start buying it directly from a farmer just start getting the fat right off the top i mean we could just buy a cow but in the backyard I've already got the cow. The milk's still not free. It's really not. I work hard. <laughs> he works hard for the money. So hard for the money. I love that cup. It's my favorite mug. I miss the Sharon mug. I wish that was bigger, and I do miss my Sharon mug. I'm disappointed. Yeah. I was hoping that at least one of these would be good. Well, I'm kind of glad they're not because they're all more expensive than the cream that we buy. Yeah, they are very expensive. And this is... And then we're cheap. 25.4 ounces versus... So this is 750 mil. So this is a, uh, a fifth, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> For you alcoholics out there. Hey, if you add some um, um, Kahlua to that... Maybe. That, that might be good. Mm. I don't know. It's too bitter for me. And yeah. it's weird because it, well, it, this is monk fruit. And monk fruit to me isn't bitter. Usually stevia is bitter. So I'm not sure where the bitter is coming from in this. <sighs> it's from me. Yeah. I share it with everyone. It is 99.9% .9 lactose free at a very small fine print at the bottom. Hey, that could even be good for some of you lactose intolerant people. It might not be as bad on your stomach as... Uh, regular heavy cream. Do you know what's weird is I understand that now this is just something that I've heard and seen take it with a grain of salt as well but raw milk and raw dairy is supposed to be okay for people with lactose intolerance. Hmm. It's the processing the processing and the uh, whatever what's it called? Pasteurization? Yes that four dollar word. Oh well I'm sure it could be but the question is, so there's um, two different processes it goes through. One is the heating and one is the like 
I don't remember. The emulsification? Right. So the heating of the milk is what kills the bacteria in it. And I personally would rather have my milk bacteria free because my body hasn't had that bacteria. I don't want to know what it would cause to my body. That does not sound like a fun experience to have. At least the first couple of times, you're probably going <laughs> to really feel it. Um, maybe after you get acclimated, you won't. I know my dad grew up on a farm and he would drink milk straight out the cow. But if you've never had that before and you're going to try it now, I'll pray for you. I'm sure. That's like, you know, going on vacation and drinking the water. Right. You'll make it through most likely. You may not enjoy it. <laughs> got to do more than hold on loosely. <laughs> oh. As always, if you have found value in this video and you've stuck through this long, you deserve an award. Right. I, I don't have one to give you. <laughs> How about a thumbs up? That was three. Right. Hit the like button. Share with your friends, family. Obviously your cats. I mean, our cats seem to be having a heyday today. They're all about it. Indeed. Don't forget to subscribe. And she, I, will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.